Hello everyone. Now today I'm going to be doing something a bit different. I'm going to be playing um, games that have been made by Yahtzee Croshaw of Zero Punctuation fame. Um, and for those who don't know, uh, so Yahtzee also writes books and makes games in his spare time, which means I can't say he's had any influence on me whatsoever. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, so he's started this series called Yahtzee's Dev Diary. It's all sort of... I think if anyone is, like, interested in making indie games, they should definitely watch it. Basically, he's making 12 games in 12 months, which is quite a lot. Yeah, so I've watched the series, and I know already kind of what to expect um, from these games. Pre-Flight Panic. It's a game about... Well, you'll see. Now boarding flight PP001. You want to make sure each passenger has their seatbelt fastened before takeoff. Use left or right to select passengers and enter to correct. I will correct them. All right. Watch for movement. Transgressive lifestyle of the unbelted ones causes them to constantly fidget with shame. Like this guy, for example. Yeah. Oh, these guys are alright. This guy's not. And this guy's not. And I think Yeah, they're all okay. Um Oh, he's fine. Wait, did I miss any? Guess I'm about to find out. Okay. Okay, I killed us all. <laughs> Two. Bloody hell. <laughs> okay, so just questioning. So, the, the, the simple act of two people being unbelted from that flight caused the whole plane to crash. I would love to know why. Um, perhaps they should um, instruct people in real life and say that if anyone's unbelted the plane you know is gonna instantly instantly drop altitude from the lack of um, the lack of belts across waists it causes an imbalance in the flight anyway let's try that again okay 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 uh, 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 uh. Uh, okay. They're okay. They're all okay. He's not. Well, come on. There must be loads more. Okay, he's not okay. I. There's no way I got them. There's no way I got them all. There must be more. Oh no, I got it. We made it. Okay, I guess there's like a random number of uh, of people on each one. Okay, second flight. If you are confident that all have correct that you've corrected all wrongdoers, you may enter the galley before the time it ends. The signal early takeoff. Okay, well that's that's a risky thing to do. I gotta say. Um, what if there's literally time to check everyone? I mean, there won't be. But. Maybe on these early levels there is. Okay, I'm gonna say that's okay. Everything is fine. Everything is not fine. I killed us all again. One passenger was unbelted. Great. It's like they really, really want to get out, but if they've got no belt, then there's nothing stopping them from, from getting out. <laughs> Just the ultimate irony of this whole thing. Ah, oh, damn it. Killed us all. Yeah, it was all the fault of that one passenger. Nothing to do with with the, the fact that I went in and basically told them to take off like a good 10 seconds early. You know, it probably hit like another plane or something up there. Well, these guys are the front. You can always see the belt, so they're okay. And they are okay too. The guy on the end. 
is not. <laughs> Some of these guys are like really oddly shaped. You must now identify and correct passengers occupied occupied mo what? Occupied by mobile devices. Watch for a lack of movement. Right, well. Okay, okay. Um What if there's any that like I mean if there were like any passengers that like were just kind of asleep or something, and then it would kind of throw you off. You have to be really careful. Ah! They're, they're just the devices. They've all got the seatbelt on this time, so I don't actually need to watch for the fidgeters this time. Or do I? It's gonna get harder as soon as it starts mixing it up. Um, I reckon they're all good now. No, oh, you son of a. Anyone else? Anyone else? I like how I'm just facing like one way the whole time. <laughs> I'm just gliding up and down. Hello! Come on. No! Oh. Surely. There's always one passenger, Jesus. Right, last. This is my last attempt. I want to move on to the next game. Uh, I think I saw one out of the corner of my eye right when I went in. I was kind of speed running. Yeah. Okay. Okay, fine. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, one passenger. One passenger. Ah, uh, well, anyway, yes. Pre flight panic. That is a fun little game. Indeed. It's good. Alright, what's next, Yahtzee? Let's find out. It's BRTV, Battle Royale TV. It's like a um, a Battle Royale simulator. You don't play as anyone in the Battle Royale, but you kind of manage it for like a TV show. So it's basically like the Hunger Games, but your players like the people organizing it, I guess. Welcome aboard, producer. Very excited about this bold new reality TV concept of yours. Let's keep things simple for the pilot, give it room to grow. Partly to not scare viewers off, partly to stay off Interpol's radar. Do we really need lore in this? Okay. Objective for Season 1, draw in 5,000 viewers. Okie doke. Let's, um... View the cast. Ah, oh, I can like customise individual people. I mean, what? I imagine like I spend ages like customizing them, but then I'm gonna see them for like a second, so um still I mean like well look at that. Just the fact that he like bothered to add all of this in this game they had like less than a month to work on. It's like why even <laughs> I mean <laughs> Sure, let's mark that guy. Brian Railvest. I actually modify the name if you want. I'm gonna call him Mr. Cheesy Bum. <clears throat> okay. Mr. Cheesy Bum and a bunch of other people. Fergus Chatterch. <laughs> uh, could have just made like a random character generator and just left it like that. Did I just see a Whitney? Whitney keep bottom. Okay. I'm gonna mark her as well. <clears throat> Elaine Pantfiddle. Fanny Scoff Lady. I still don't know how you actually play this. I, I was like watching the dev diary of it a few weeks back and I still 
like for the life of me don't know what you actually do so let's find out um okay oh there's Whitney keep bottom and there's Fergus Chatterchunk they've all landed two of them landed in the water I'm not sure that was intentional all right so I gotta choose the the safe zone barely is gonna make a difference at this point click on a player to place the drone cam um, right, so we're going to follow Mr. Cheesy Bum. Drone will capture anything interesting. Okay, so I basically got to place the camera where I think interesting things will happen, maybe? Although now I can't seem to move it, so I'm not sure. Maybe I have to wait for that timer. Mr. Cheesy Bum finds a pistol. Go for it, Mr. Cheesy Bum. It's coming up on a house and you found another pistol oh and you found a sniper rifle actually um, people are dying already Whitney's dead wait what that's it I'm confused what happened like I mean two of them are dead maybe the rounds are just very very short okay I guess they are um, well, I want to keep uh, Mr. Cheesy Bum safe, so we're going to put the second circle there. And we're going to keep the camera on him because, you know, he's going for it. Even though all the action is happening up here, so I guess I'm actually not doing very well. I like the little animations, I've got to say. Considering, like, it's basically a game about watching little icons that you can't even control. Nice that it's got little animations and stuff. Whoa, look at that. He sniped someone from like all the way across the map, I think. And he's still going for it. Wait, no, is he? Oh, no, that's because I marked him. Okay, he's not dead. It's good. Mr. Cheesy Bum is going to keep surviving. And then going to keep him safe. God, can you imagine if like Battle Royale games actually had someone deciding where the circle goes and stuff you could like you could pretty much influence the outcome oh no wait he's still alive but he's, he's about to confront someone I think he's alright he's alright Mr. Cheesy Bum go in that house you'll be, you'll be good uh Hang on, hang on. I need to check what happened then. He's dead! No. Oh. So what I will say so far is there's obviously a lot of clever stuff going on in the background for this to even like work. But for me, like a lot of stuff happens really quickly and I don't know that I can keep up. Obviously I haven't been playing it for that long, so Elizabeth Nudgelly shoots into the air to scare Fergus Chatterchunk away. Fergus Chatterchunk hunts down and kills Sarah Undernight like a prize buck. Oh, come on, there's like two people left. Do we even need another round? They could have ended it right there and then. Go on, Fergus. Fergus, you got this. Um, Fergus didn't. Win. It was Elizabeth Nut Jelly all, all along. She only killed two people. Outtakes? What's an outtake? Well, we're renewed for a new season. Oh my god, there's so much stuff to do now. For some reason, I've really got to record the death of Betty Wheatgood. But what if she doesn't die? Like, there's no guarantee. Like, Betty Wheatgood could win. I mean, where is she anyway? Betty Weed, good. Okay, I'll take it back. She's not going to win. I mean, having the terrain randomly generated feels like something that... Like, he didn't need to do it, but the fact that he did do it is kind of a little bit crazy. Um, well, where's uh, Betty? I need to record her dying. I mean, she's probably not going to die in the first round. Well, she might do. It's pretty close to... Freddy Whittle Jerk and Ozma Lump Mash. So, yeah, let's record her. 
Oh, we finally got our earpiece working. Now you can click on players to temporarily make them move in a specific direction. Ah, so I can make her come over here. She's dead. That was easy. Quentin Kunk Lump. Well, apparently, I've recorded four submachine gun uses already, so now I've just got to, I've just got to sort out the corpse looting situation, and then we'll be all good. I guess I can kind of move them towards the corpses. That might be a good idea. It's like there's corpse there. There's corpses in the danger zone. I've got to get three corpses, so yeah, we'll keep it in the middle, and I'll control her for a bit. Go up. Loot that corpse! Yeah, loot it! Loot it! Well, don't go over... Oh, she's dead now. Well, this guy's got to loot all these corpses. Come on. Why don't I just go past it, for God's sake? Loot it! Loot the bloody corpse! <laughs> I don't know how to make them loot the corpses! Come on, he's got it. He's like right on top of him. Okay, one. Oh, he just wants to go and fight. There's like loads of corpses. Why don't you loot them? You get more weapons. Okay, maybe they don't really have any weapons, so that's part of the problem. Look, I've got 13, 14 submachine gun uses. 15 submachine gun uses. And one corpse looted. Two, okay. We've only got to get one, one more, but there's only two people left, so I'm not sure there would ever be a reason for them to loot. Okay, so presumably they will only loot corpses if they've got a weapon, so none of these corpses have weapons and <laughs> so I'm basically screwed at this point. Uh, okay. Is he gonna let me through? Oh, they're optional objectives. Okay, well that's... Okay, great. I was worried for a second that I wasn't going to pass because I didn't loot all the, co all the corpses. That's difficult optional objective. Okay. So I've got to ensure that Telma Nutterpest survives to round four. Probably don't need to worry so much about the optional objectives, do I? Um, okay, well, it shouldn't be too hard. I've just got to take control of... oh shit, what was her name? <laughs> Tell her something. Tell her something. Okay. I just gotta get her to run Keanu Winkmaster. I like that. Uh, okay, there she is. We're gonna put the safe zone there and we're gonna... well, we don't want to control her because we want her to stay away from trouble. See? Interesting little decision-making process going on. We're gonna record Panelist Sex Mash. So we're just gonna keep Telma like over here where there's like no one. She's she's not even gonna have any weapon. Well, I guess we could take her into the house, maybe. We've gotta be careful then. So we'll give her a weapon. Yeah, I'm, I'll make sure she has a weapon, but beyond that, I wanna keep her as far away from the action as possible. Yes. That's right, Telma. Now you have a weapon. Go into this other house and loot this other weapon. Let's go. Go. No, don't just walk past the house. Oh well, she's fine. She can just walk up and down. Hopefully, no one's gonna think to walk all the way over here. Because, you know, like, for all they know, like, the action's happening over here. There's no one over here. Everyone can stay on this side of the circle. And we're going to record. Where's Keanu gone? There he is. We're gonna record Keanu. Keanu died! What round are we on? Round four? Well, I guess we won. Um, keep her alive as well. I'm gonna try and make her win, damn it. Oh, she's getting too close to that guy. There's only four people left. Come on. No, tell me. Go. Run away into the open field where nothing can possibly... Ha she really wants to 
She really wants to go down. She's like fighting against me. Hmm. Okay, she's she's doing all right. She's gonna win this. She's got this. Come on, Tillman. You got this. I'm gonna record her because that's how much I'm confident she's gonna. That these guys have got like shotguns. As long as she stays at a distance, Tillman, stay at a distance. At a distance. Okay, she's all right. Stay at a distance. She's gonna do it. She's gonna do it. She's been shooting a lot of people. Look at all that. Look. She's been shooting a lot of people. This is really quite sophisticated, <laughs> to be honest. Like, you could probably turn this into a full game quite easily. Oh. She won! That's it. That's the ultimate success. I don't even care about the optional objectives because Tom and Nutterpest won. Oh, let's see what the objective is for the, for the next season, but I'm probably not going to do it. In the interest of moving on. Oh god, that's too complicated for me. But yeah, great game. Um, and I will probably play it some more after I finish recording. Alright, one more game from Mr. Yahtzee is Upbeat. It's a rhythm platformer type thing. Um, ooh, controller support, I think. Let's see. Yes, it's good. Full screen, that's even better. Finally, I was going to say my biggest point was like, add a full screen mode, and he has added one to this game, so that's good. I am a playing as a dancer man. He's like a happy dancer man. He walks left and right and he jump. Jump in midair to double jump. Yeah, obviously. Do I need to do it three times? Come on. Wall jump. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do I need to do it three times? Quick stomp. Got it. Now do it all in time to the beat. Okay, so, yeah, the beat's in the middle. So, I can't tell, like, do I need to always hit the beat, or is it just like any time I do the action it has to be to the beat? I mean, that's the part I'm a bit confused by. So I don't know if I should be just like jumping all the time. <laughs> Do you think that the desyncing of the audio, where there's like a weird lag pause every few bars, that is quite noticeable. Not just because he pointed it out in the video, I mean I would have noticed it anyway. So I don't know, it feels like there should be another way to like, deal with that problem, I feel like. Like, surely, I know it's in Game Maker, so surely there's some other rhythm games that do something different to that? I don't know. Anyway, th this game, I mean, it's interesting, because it's like... It's not like a traditional rhythm game where you have to do a certain command. You're kind of platforming, so you can do, like, whatever command you like, as long as it's in time of the beat. Which is a, giving me a bit of a multitasking problem because it's like I'm looking at the platforms and I'm thinking like how I want to jump on them but then I've got to remember to do it in time to the beat and what is going on here? I didn't know there was a, a dog in this game with laser beams. I, I, um, no, I fell off. Oh, there's too many things going on. I Can I deflect the shots or... <laughs> I, I'm... I am confused by this game. I don't. Um, I feel like it's trying to do too much, but at the same time, not enough. I don't know. Is that a weird way to describe it? I like the art, and I like the well, yeah, the kind of general idea of, of this sort of game, but I feel like it's too confusing for me. <laughs> is that, does that make sense? 
Oh, is it gonna make me do the? T okay, it's gonna make me do the tutorial again. Ah! Right. Is there a way to skip that? Apparently not. Really? Is there no way to skip the tutorial? Well, there's my biggest criticism. <laughs> if there's no way to skip the tutorial, just because I failed. Oh well. Um, but yeah, it's considering like he's had to make these back to back in separate months. This is my my least favorite. Even though I like the sprites of the of the guy a lot, um, it's my least favorite of the three. But it's still really impressive when you consider he's like had no break at all in making any of these and i'm looking forward to playing the rest so yeah maybe i'll do a ranking after he's done all of them okay that was yahtzee's games um uh dev diary thing <laughs> i don't know but yeah, watch the video series if you're interested in indie games development and all that kind of stuff. It's definitely worth watching. Alright, goodbye!